I would like to, the first time I met you, you spoke about music. Yeah. So I would like to know your relation to music, which seemed to be very important. Um, I almost can't work without music on. You can hear in the background here. So all the studios I work in have music playing. And I, the first thing I do when I come in in the morning, I have my tea and I make my playlist, right? I make the, I make, I try to make about five hours of music, right? So I don't have to worry about it. And, um, and that depends but from day to day. So, so, so what you are doing is really linked to music. Yeah, because what I learned was, this goes back to the theater of death, right? Or the theater, the theatric. I think performance um, and performing is part of making up. You know, if I'm alone in a studio, um, I'll dance, scream, jump around, fucking, you know, cry, yell, or be very peaceful and focused. Or, or you know, but, but there's a theater to me making up. And there's a suspension of reality to me making up. And music allows, music gives, it marks time. It gives kind of, it, um, it measures time. It's, it's, it's like a dance with time music, right? You're hearing the song and it ends. And, and, um, and it allows you to escape a certain mode of living. So I think, the making of art, for me, needs to be done with other modes of art. With music, with dance, with performance. But are you making kind of music in 3D, in a way? Absolutely. I mean, and I think, I've noticed I've, I've, a lot of good friends are musicians. You know, I think sculptors particularly, uh, musicians really click. There's something about sculpture that's, that's um, that kind of physical manifestation of a material that has this lovely connection to the like ephemeral nature of music. But then music is made with objects, right? Yeah. Like we're listening to Kamasi Washington right now, who's an LA based jazz musician. Mm -hmm. Young guy, brilliant. I met him, he's an absolute extraordinary guy. And it's super physical. He's a super physical, he's a big, towering, amazing man. He plays with his father, you know place with this huge band, it's just physical, when you see them on stage, it's like, whoa! And he plays that section, it's this object, but the record of it is ephemeral. It's like, it's floating, you know? It's outside of, of that. So there's a nice dance between sculpture and music. But what kind of music do you do? Do I make? In your sculpture. Um, well, my music isn't sort of like, I think my music, I, you know, if, if, you make, if I make music in, in sculpture, it's probably, you know, an encouragement to, uh, to act. Do you know? Meaning, so it's probably more linked to dance. Do you know, I make sort of music dance to? <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, something like that. And then in a way with the 2D work, it's, um, it's about stopping. You know, I think, they, you know, it's funny when you walked in here, we stopped in here, right? Mm -hmm. So just, we walked around in the sculptures and, we, and then we come here and we stop. And that tends to be what happens. People stop in here and they sit down. <clears throat> so the painting does something else, whereas the sculpture tends to make people move. Reason. Walk around, touch. And did, 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 did. Reason. Reason? No, it's about reason. Sculpture. Rhythm, yeah, 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 absolutely rhythm. It's a visual rhythm. Sculpture has, all the great sculptures have a rhythm in them. Brancusi, Carl Andre, <clears throat> Lee Bontagu, you name it. Louis Bourgeois, you always feel a rhythm, right? Yeah. The relationship of, of, of forms, and weight and mass. I always love the voice thing, thinking is form. You know, something's musical in that. Yeah, thinking is form, you, know, you make, make form to thought. I don't know, <clears throat> but I think sculptors I mean, I don't know many sculptors, funnily enough, but they tend to need <clears throat> to create an environment uh, that protects them from reality <clears throat> because the pressure of objects out there, uh -huh. all the objects, everything you see is made for a reason, has an economic model behind it, is logical, is 
a wish fulfillment. You see, there's more and more in architecture, right? You know, it's like, you know, that, that's, I have a real issue with the current architecture that it's RT, but it's not art. It feels like a rendering. And you feel an intention of, you know, a fantasy of a life we could live without death, without absurdity, and without failure. Wow. You imagine the client, oh, wow, look at this building. It's like, wow, you know, it's a temple, temple. I, you know, and it's got toilets and an elevator and a <laughs> meeting room. And we as sculptors have to insulate ourselves from that, you know, because, because so often sculptors make their own worlds. That's why I love sculptors gravitating with Charlie Ray, Paul McCarthy, Chris Burden. They gravitate to LA because they have the room to do that, mm. to make their entire other world. Because you have to, and that music helps in that, because you've got to insulate yourself from a world where every object, you know, we made that like this, for this amount, for this reason. Boom, pop. Pop, you know, it's mass production, it's use over, um, over anything, you know. Um, the economic component takes over, has taken over everything, you know. Yeah. And so we have to fight against that. If you look at furniture made, you know, even in, you know, historically in time, furniture was also absurd. Buildings were absurd. You know, architecture used to be, it was absurd. Crazy, you know, like, why? You know, it's completely crazy. And it carried within it this, 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 um, this resistance, you know, which we're slowly, we're losing, you know. So I think you'll see, I think it's artists, some artists, I'm not saying all, and I'm not saying, by the way, it's a moral prerogative to do this. I'm glad Jeff Koons is there, I'm glad everybody's there, you know, I'm glad the party is, it's a big party, right? But for me to, to create another room, another space, another option, is interesting. So I think you, you make the studio, and the music and the dance of the studio and the performance of the studio because to make the art is a performance right? mm -hmm. you know and i began as a performance artist i really yeah yeah wasn't i wasn't i had no uh you know to me to be like a painter or sculptor that was something bourgeois people did you know i didn't i did, really didn't see myself as being allowed to do that you know i i sort of got into art almost like someone gets into a band, do you know, like, I always look at the Happy Mondays or 